Hello everybody and welcome back to Sonic Academy. My name is Paolo Mojo and I want to take you through this time on some ideas that you can use or techniques to create what I would call a melodic dance track. Now for this kind of stuff I'm going to use a few influences, some stuff you may be familiar with. Um, guys like Lindstrom who makes fantastic melodic dance music. Um, and particularly his track Closing Shot. We're going to use some ideas and influences from that. And then a very old song by Tangerine Dream, and it's called Love on a Real Train, and you can go to YouTube and listen to it there. I'm not sure I can use it in this video for copyright issues. Um, but that track inspired a ton of um, melodic stuff that, that followed on afterwards, uh, famously some of the chicane stuff. And you kind of you hear it cropping up again and again. It's like one of those tropes that never really goes away. And maybe some stuff from guys like Eric Prids as well. Um, we're going to use some techniques with melody and delay and build up a track that takes a little bit from all these kind of guys and hopefully gives you a good starting point for making your own stuff. And of course, this stuff will be given away as part of the course so you can uh, play around with it use it for yourself, remix it, do whatever you want, basically. So the first thing I started with in my head after listening to those songs, I, I wanted to get like this little melodic idea that would underpin everything, if you like. So let's just take a listen to this. This is what I came up with originally. That's pretty cool, but you'll notice I had these three notes highlighted and I found that if I muted them, kind of got the beginnings of a little melodic kind of hook but obviously I don't want that stock sound so I'm going to work a bit on this sound I'm going to show you some stuff with Korg and this is the Monopoly which um, is kind of a compendium of different kind of Korg synths and sounds and I'm going to go to one of the presets and use that as a basis, one of the uh, one of the bass sounds, I think. Yeah, this fat MG bass. You have to double click in Molopoly to get the um, the preset to stick. And that's got a bit of that eighties vibe that I want, but it's not quite right yet. So I'm gonna add in some effects. And then maybe some of this as well. That's good. I kind of wanted to have that sound where the the click has gone, and you, you usually do that by kind of taking the release off something. And if I open it up, I've got loads of room to take the sound in a different direction. But it needs a bit more in it as well. It needs some um, it needs some effects as well. Um, this is one of my older compression presets. Just tightens everything up. I'm going to add some stereo delay as well, I think. And I want like a, a 1 8 sound, I think. Thank you. 
pretty happy with that um i might just want to add in some enveloper as well wherever that is the reason i use this is just to kind of again just to tighten up the sound it's like a gate effectively i put a gain control on the channel and this isn't so much to affect the sound but this is more just about having some kind of gain control on the track for later on when I mix and arrange. You can uh, use it independently of the volume controls and I find it a pretty handy tool. So now I've got my basic little melodic idea. I'm going to build on that with some drums, with some bass, some other synth. And let's just start building a track. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you found this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.